and action. Let's try this again. My battery died, then I started filming, didn't hit the record button. It's all good. Six and a half inches, six and three quarters of an inch I need for my uprights. Actually six and a half, including the quarter inch thickness of those plates of the mounts. So I'm gonna get two pieces of tubing cut and get those uh, put in place and get this these cut off of here, the uprights, and get this welded to it. And then what I'll do is I'll cut those tacks off from my table, bring it onto the other side of the table, and then I'll get set up with the TIG welder and then I'll get it everything TIG welded. I'm really trying to spend more time on the finish welding using the TIG welder. Uh, I want to improve my skills and the only way of doing that is by actually doing it. So that's what we're going to do. So let's get my uprights cut. I'll fit them on here first. Make sure they're good to go. Then we'll tack them onto the mounts that are tacked to the table. And then I'll cut this off. I'll get my measurements where everything needs to be. I'll make some measurements here, blah, blah, blah. Get it centered. And I'll get this all tacked together and then we'll get it finished welded with the TIG. Yep. And then check it off the list for crying out loud. It'll be about damn time. Six and three quarters. So 13 and a half total. We'll just do one at a time. Six and three quarters. Set these on the car real quick, see how they fit. Make sure I'm um, happy with how they're fitting. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Now I'm gonna have to notch it at the top for the shape of the rope, the, the light bar. Yeah, this one's taller. So this is gonna end up having to drop down, but that's fine. Huh? I'm gonna use my grinder. I'm gonna use my grinder and grind basically a groove in here to kind of create a belly or a U at the end. So this will actually sit kind of around that um, headlight bar. So let's do that. And cue the slow dance music. No, I don't need this. I need this. What are you doing? I'm losing my mind. I try to do these at the same damn time. Daddy got a butthole on his chin. He can blow his nose and wipe his ass at the same goddamn time. Anyone know what movie that quote's from? Comment below. Alright. Grinder. Not there. Oh, it's over here. Ah, let's just use the cut off. Use the big dog. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So 
what I gotta do is spin it to win it. But what I need to do first is figure out the angle that these need to be leaning forwards. And in order to do that, I need my handy dandy angle finder. Ooh, that's hot. Eighty-two degrees. Yeah, I'll be able to fudge it. I think I'll be able to kind of fudge it once I get it tacked. All right, let's ground the table. <clears throat> I broke it. Awesome. Eighty point five. Not too shabby. All right. I'm grind this one down. Give it a new angle of the dangle. Pretty close right there, so I'm just gonna fire it up. Give it the old tack in place. It's gonna be a good day, people! All right, so I'm even on both sides. Let me see if this is level. Whoa, 0 0.2. All right, it's good enough. It's gonna change when I weld it anyways. So now what I need to do is I need to get that piece taken off the uprights, brought over here, centered, get it tack welded in place. Then what I'll do is I'll leave it right on the table. I'll grab my TIG welder, probably spin my table around, grab the TIG and get this TIG welded in place. And then um, get it mounted onto the car and see how it looks. All right, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna get the headlight bar mount thing over there on the car, cut off the car. And I'm gonna figure out my center mark and then get the original Ford headlight bar. I'm gonna get the original Ford headlight bar tack welded onto my new stands. That's what we're gonna do. get these the ends of these kind of cleaned up a little because they've been welded a few times and they kind of look poopy so I want to make them look a little less poopy you know what I'm saying Alright, I got a problem. I put these straight across for this one. They don't belong straight across. They belong this way. So, we're gonna have to cut the tacks, at least one of them, or both, probably both, and clock these now. So I can get an idea of the angle I need it at. And then hit this one again with a quick tack. Alright, let's figure it out. See what I need for an angle. That's much better. So 
So what I'm noticing is, is that this is not bent even. Not even close. It's not cool, bro. But you know what? I'm gonna leave it just the way it is. Yeah, it's just the way it's gonna be. Two and a half center line. Two and a quarter. Two and three eighths. That's about it right there. Doing that. Just make sure my cups. I mean, if they're actually a little, if they're clocked backwards a little bit, it's probably fine. Right, they're dead nuts. This is one of those. Alright. We're gonna go check on the dogs. I'll be right back. I'm back! New channel sponsor, Sam Adams Cold Snap. Best sponsor ever. Just kidding, not sponsored. Although that would be nice. Alright, so now. Now I need to make the decision, do I weld it right here or do I cut it off the table and move it? Doesn't really make sense to cut it off the table because it's fixed at this point. I think what I should do is weld it in place. I want to measure how far back these are. Get an idea how how much off it is, if it is off. I feel like it's off, but yeah, it's off. Four and a half, four and three quarters. So driver's side's a little further forwards than the passenger side. Two inches, two inches. Uh, what I didn't check was my degree after I welded it again. 79.1, I was originally wanted to be around 80. That's 83. 82. Get that welded. Just doing that moved it up quite a bit. <clears throat> Let me see now where it's at. See if I got lucky. Four and three eighths. Oh, four and a half. Hmm. Okay, hold on. A little under four and three eighths, and this is right at four and three eighths. So I'm like a sixteenth off now. That made all the difference right there. So I'm at 78.9. Right there. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna clean my table off real quick, spin it around, 
and then set up with my TIG welder on the back side of the table where you guys are at the moment. I'm going to leave this right in place. I'll TIG weld around the bottoms and I'll do the best I can here. I may end up after I get the bottoms TIG welded, I may cut this off, flip it upside down, clamp it to the table and then just weld the undersides of the posts and then see if it fits on the car. So. All right, everyone, so basically I just spun you around. I'm where you were and you're where I was. What I'm gonna do now is attempt to take weld this headlight bar. The machine turned on. I'm gonna grab some filler rod. We'll get to getting busy here. Now I'm going to end up having to stand up to do this because I need to get the back side. can't get it sitting down. really can't see what I'm doing because of the angles, so I'm not surprised I'm dipping my tungsten. But all the other welds look good. I'm trying to get better, so I want to I want to leave it mounted to the table, tacked to the table, and weld it. I don't want to cheat, and I think this is the best way to learn by forcing yourself to figure it out. Maybe I'm wrong, but that's how I've done everything else in my life. But I just need to get my, uh, my angle. Still need more heat. You should really see the weld flatten out. And it's not quite there yet. Getting closer. Closer. Crank up the heat. The arc gets a lot brighter and I noticed that it's blinding me and I'm seeing dots now so I just turned the darkness up a little bit on my helmet. Like I said, it's, it's very technical and picky unlike MIG welding. You really have to focus on a lot of the details. All right, so raising up the heat or well, the amperage on the machine made a huge difference. Now the welds are really starting to smooth out and they're kind of flowing out nice, making a big difference. A couple more spots I want to hit real quick on it just to, to clean it up, like I said, so I don't have to do any grinding. I'm going to clean up my tungsten real quick because I did dip it a few minutes ago. So raising the heat up again, like I said, has made a big difference. That weld just kind of, kind of laid out pretty good.
So I just turned my heat down a touch, turned it down to 80 from about 95. Uh, the reason I did that is because this, both of these pieces now are tubing. It's not flat, you know, thick stock like the bases are. So now what I need to do is I need to get it kind of just set in place like this. I'll TIG weld what I can reach, spin it around, hit the other side, and just keep rotating it around till it's done. So you guys probably see me keep reaching down. You have a temperature control on the machine itself and then you also have a temperature control on the pedal. You want to try to, I guess, keep them even. However, if they're not, the override is the machine amperage. So whatever you have the machine set at, that's what it'll ramp up to. But I always try to keep them the same. So in my head, I know, I know exactly or close to what I have for amperage at the pedal. But here's the thing about TIG welding. It's very slow. I would have been done with this. The thing would have been mounted. I would have had my headlights on by now if I was MIG welding it. But again, never get any better and I'll never improve my skills if I don't sit down and teach myself. So here I am. You see it bubble up like that, you know you're, you're getting into some dirty metal. You see it spit like that. And it's hard to it's hard to kind of come back from it, I guess. Hard hard to pick up the filler rod with gloves on. All right, let's go. You don't want to put your mouth on the wrong end either. It's a bad habit, I guess, to get into. <laughs> oh. That's my headlight bar. Let's go set it on the car real quick. I'm not going to do any bolts or nothing, but I'll set it on the car and see what it looks like. One, two. Alright guys, the headlight bar looks like it's going to fit just fine, yeah, yep, so that's it, that's how the headlight bar is going to go, going to let it just cool overnight, so tomorrow I'll come back out, I will probably just clean up the welds a little bit, because they're not perfect, again I'm just learning. Nice and warm in here. Woo, so spoiled. Just so spoiled. All right, everyone. Saturday night, going in the house. Going to go hang out with Allie. Going to watch some Supercross. I'm a motocross guy. If you guys didn't know that already, I've raced motocross for a long time. And during January, Supercross series is on. So if there's any Supercross fans, motocross fans out there, give me a thumbs up. Uh, obviously I'm big into that it was my childhood and all the way up till I turned 40 and then I sold my bikes and bought hot rods 
So that's it for me. Thanks everybody for following along. I'll be back tomorrow. I'm gonna jump right back in on that headlight bar, get that headlight bar mounted onto the car. Um, while actually before I do that, I'm gonna get my radiator. I gotta get the base of the radiator drilled, get my radiator mounting kit, which I think is somewhere up in the garage up top. Get that installed on the frame, get the radiator mounted, and then I can get the headlight bar, headlights mounted tomorrow. Get my radiator hoses cut down. Um, and then measure out for a hood. I can't measure for my hood until I get the grill shell and radiator set in place. And then I'm gonna try building the hood. Thanks guys, we'll see you soon.